Okay, mm. well, Kate has a look at the weekend forecast, and I don't want to give it all away, but <laughs> well, tomorrow seems like the banner day. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert, the yeah. right. weekend's not good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I mean, we've been talking about this all week. Yeah, the oh. weekend just is going downhill. The forecast kind of getting worse and worse mm. as we move through the week, and we are now tracking this coastal storm, which is going to really impact much of the area. It looks like Saturday evening and Saturday night. You may be able to salvage a few parts of the weekend. We've got a lot to talk about, so let's get right into it. We'll start off with a look outside, talk about the shore. Looking pretty busy still. Everyone's using these days today and tomorrow. If the weekend's no good, maybe call in. You know, you got a little tickle in the throat and just uh, take a Friday down the shore. Tomorrow is going to be beautiful. I'm looking forward to my time in Margate tomorrow. Ocean City looking fantastic tonight. Temperature wise, it's cool. It's calm. It is pleasant. It's a lot like last night. It's 71 in Philly right now, 68 in Allentown, 66 down in Millville and 69 degrees in Redding. Storm Scan 3 shows two areas to watch. The first, this upper low, which dragged a front through portions of the upper Midwest today, bringing severe weather damaging tornadoes across portions of Iowa. Second thing to watch, and this is the near term for us, this is an area of tropical moisture starting to enhance over portions of Georgia and South Carolina. You can start to see a little bit of circulation here, and this is going to develop into our coastal low. So in the near term, we're looking good. Clear and comfy overnight, 66 degrees. Tomorrow looks great. Tons of sunshine, 86 in the city, around 80 down the shore. Beautiful there as well with sunshine and comfortable conditions. Ocean water is about 70. Nice breeze off the water tomorrow. Then it all goes downhill. So let's start off with Saturday. Saturday morning could start with a little sun if you're up early. Clouds are going to increase. I think by noon it's pretty cloudy. Saturday afternoon the rain starts to move in from the shore to the city. Saturday night is when the heaviest rain will move through. Heavy rain and thunder. Gusty winds as well, especially at the coast. Let's take you through future weather. Keep in mind this is just one model projection. As we go through tomorrow, everything looking fine. The wind will pick up tomorrow night down the shore. And then here we go. This is noon on Saturday, moisture starts to stream in, may even hit the western suburbs, portions of Delaware as soon as noon. 2 p.m. We're starting to see the rain lift into the city and then watch the center of this low on this particular model pretty well inland. That track would bring most of us heavy rain Saturday night. If the track is a little further offshore, it'll be more of a coastal impact maker. But you can see the winds will pick up as well. Winds gusting to near 40 miles an hour at times in Cape May and over 25 miles an hour possible in the city. Now the track is crucial. That's going to dictate who gets the heaviest rain. But as of now, from about noon onward on Saturday, right through Saturday night, we'll be looking at some showers, some steady rain, and then Saturday night, heavy rain, thunder, and gusty winds. Sunday, spotty showers, and then we're under the influence of that other low over the Midwest. That swings in next week, and really for the better part of next week, it looks cloudy mm. and unsettled with showers and storms each day. Okay. All right, Kate. Thanks.